any of the property. No, not any of them. No fishing. Well, go figure. If, if we don't get the slam, we got an excuse, man. What's up, YouTube? I am actually out here today with a subscriber named Jack. We're about to crush some city ponds today, and look at what we have going on. A MTB box, freshly shipped. This is this month's box. We are gonna try and go ahead and get a slam, fishing every bait inside this thing, and see if we can't link up with the fish on each and every single bait. Let's go ahead and open this sucker up and show you what we're working with today. And in case you're interested in Mystery Tackle Box, maybe you've seen this before. It's a subscription-based service. You can actually try your first one for as low as $5 with the link down in the description, and you'll get new baits every single month, literally like Christmas, every single month. You get to try out new baits, perfect for the season. Whether you fish bass, panfish, even the salts, you can go ahead and pick up some baits for your region, for your type of fish you're after. Let's see what we got in here and get started. So. First of all, we have some trick shot worms by Z-Man. These are gonna be good drop shot. Uh, you could even get away with throwing it Texas rigged. It's a little guy, but you know, you could do that if you're just real familiar with the Texas rigs and you like throwing it, get some comfort out of that. Then we have, boom, lifted jigs, 3 8 ounce flipping jig. Literally just caught a, a, a nice sized bass creek fishing with John B yesterday on a 3 8 ounce black and blue jig. I think we'll crush it with this one right here, maybe pair it up with a crawfish trailer. Boom, done like dinner. Then. We have the big old swim bait. This is a line through swim bait. I wouldn't know what to do with it, but I've actually seen it in another MTB video by One Rod One Reel recently, if I'm not mistaken. And so uh, we're gonna give this thing a shot. It could be tough to catch some fish on this. Could be first cast type of deal. We'll see what happens. And then we are rocking the Carl's Amazing Baits Golden Boy. This guy dives three to five feet, perfect for these ponds that we're fishing here today. You're gonna be bringing it up shallow by the bank. Don't wanna get a deep diver because then You'll catch all kinds of stuff on the treble hooks. You probably had some experience with that. Yeah, yeah. For sure, man. It happens to all of us. So the crank, Sexy Shad's going to be good for these stained waters, my opinion. Uh, I've caught so many fish on cranks similar to that. And also, if you guys are unfamiliar with Carl's, you can save up to 30% on all your tackle with the link in the description as well. Let's keep on going. We've got makes another. It, makes it super easy for your shopping. 100%. We have a jerk bait. This is a suspending jerk bait by Strike Pro. This guy, if I'm not mistaken, you get a little pamphlet in here. Get this little card of what's inside. This guy actually retails for $12.99, so I'm kind of excited to try this guy out. I'm, I'm looking to catch a $13 bass on this thing, five pounder, six pounder, like what, what size is worth 13 bucks? We're gonna try and snag one. And then quarter ounce bullet weights. So we're gonna tie on whatever soft plastic we feel on a Texas rig most likely and get to cranking on some bass. You ready? Yep, let's do it, dude. Oh man, let's crank them. We got seven rod and reels over here to uh, tie on all the goods. Might be more than enough. Just getting situated in the shade over here. We got the box. We're about to tie some stuff on and have at it. Jack's tying on that line through swim bait. It's supposed to have panicked action. I have got this golden boy I'm gonna start with. We're just gonna try and cover some water. I'm also gonna tie on a bottom bait so we can mix things up and see what they're hitting on, but we'll cover some water, like I say, with this Carl's Amazing Crank and get the job done. Crankbait is tied on the 7-2 White Bird. Let's get her done, y'all. First cast. There's a lot of grass that extends about 10 feet out, so I'm gonna start to slow this thing down as we approach that grass and uh, bring it to the surface. That time I even caught some grass, so it made it easy on me. It just ran, ran right up to the surface. I didn't even have to slow it down. But uh, when you're fishing the ponds, especially in the summertime with these diving crankbaits, you really need to uh, slow it down or raise your rod tip as you get closer to the bank. And it will uh, help you not lose that sucker or get stuck on the treble hooks. It's good. Charlie. Yes. Charlie, pleasure yeah. to meet you, dude. Right, that one's usually pretty good, too. Yeah, thing. yeah, hit it. Yeah, I would do that. And if you get something holler at I me, mean, I'm going to jump. <laughs> oh, just scared a bass. Just spooked one. They're here. I'm gonna go grab the jig and fish that right here for a second because I saw a bass that I spooked. I know they're in this little area. I think I'm just fishing the wrong bait. All right guys, next up I'm gonna throw this 3 8 ounce jig. Perfect color for these ponds. They've hit on similar stuff. I might tear off one little section of the cracking craw to get it to fit on this jig nice and neat. You guys, we're rocking that uh, darker colored jig with the blue head and then the blue baby crack and craw trailer should get smacked. We'll see what happens. Found some structure, a couple pipes here. Shade line, thinking this could be good. <laughs> nice. There we go. Got him? Dude, it must be good, huh? 
The trick shot worm? Is yeah. that what trick shots? Yeah, on a Ned rig. Smoked it. it. Jack got us the first one off the slam, you guys. Yes. Picking those things up on a Ned. Forget the drop shot. Making things happen, dude. Right, yeah, let's do it. Sick catch, brother. <sighs> All right. Really? Dude, shut up. <laughs> Get out of here. Little guy on the Bandito bug, uh, we knocked the bullet weight off of the MTB slam. I had a, uh, what I believe is a four-aught offset hook. Look how he ate that Bandito bug. Yo. First cast over there by that fountain, let it fall for a couple seconds, he, and he swam with it for a second, and I set the hook, just a little guy, but Bandito bug always gets it done. Set this guy down. Jack is absolutely crushing it for us on this slam right here. He's got two of the baits knocked out. Well, I say baits. This one was just the weight, so we could throw anything we want. So uh, there you go, guys. Get you some of those quarter ounce weights. Tie your favorite soft plastic. Get to hammering them first cast like your boy over here. Uh, meanwhile, I'm trying to like catch anything other than weeds. Aside from that, you guys, good news. It's a party over here at the park that we always get kicked out of. We got our boys. We got Josh. I'm going to link everybody's Instagram in the description below. So we got Josh. We got Jeremy across the way. And we got Charlie over here. We are all rocking the bank side trying to link up with the biggest bass of the day since we can no longer get the first bass. Uh, <laughs> so... Oh, I think I got one. Oh yeah, linked up, baby, on the crank. Yes, first fish for me. Good size, I think. <laughs> Let's go, killer. Got him. All right, first one for me this morning. Dude, just one hook, and it's like, if I wouldn't have kept him pinned, it would have came right out. Oh, oh, look, look, dude, a fat rip. Like, if I wouldn't have kept it pressured, there was just one hook in there, he just made it worse on himself. Look at that. Oh, I was getting worried on the old cranks, man. I know they perform out here. I was like, what's going on today? I think they just want the bottom stuff, but nope. And that gives me some good confidence in what he's throwing as well. He's rocking that jerk bait. He says it's a little tough to keep it out of the weeds, but if I'm not mistaken, he's also been fishing it where it's slightly shallower. Probably try and cast it just right out here, see what happens. Just a little breather. He's about to thrash. Oh, there he goes. On down. All right, guys, first one for me. This came on a staple of mine. You know, if you've been watching the channel for a while, I used to crush it on these shad pattern crankbaits, uh, square bills, just shallow divers, perfect for these ponds that we're hitting today. And once you know, we got one. He was actually out pretty deep, just like Jack had mentioned over here by this fountain. And so uh, we knocked one more off the list, you guys. Can't wait to crush this whole box, man. I'm thinking maybe that swim bait next. He's got the jerk bait tied on. We're, we're, we're on a roll at this point. I don't want to jinx nothing, but uh, I just did. Hey, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, first one on the crank. What you had luck on so far? Bandito bug. Bandito bug, them Guggen baits, man. The uh, green pumpkin color over at that pond or this one? Over the other pond. Sick, man. Absolutely crushing it. We have got security like eyeballing us. We're gonna get kicked out of here any minute. Charlie's hooked up, Charlie's hooked up across the pond. Good one, huh? Oh, hoo -hoo. oh he's got a what looks like a green pumpkin cracking frog to me. And uh, that black and blue jig from the MTB should get it done. Throw it around in the shallow water, swimming it. All right, guys, we're gonna make a little move. But I think if I go over to the spot by this fountain where I caught those other two, then maybe I'll, I'll link up with at least something. Weston was kind enough to let me try his uh, titanium DC and his, his big sexy. Put it in there around that fountain. Oh, hooked up! On the jig, not a bad fish. Oh, he's co covered in grass. Co covered in grass. All right, guys. Well, there's bait number, what's that for me? Three, black and blue jig. All right, guys, uh, I was throwing this black and blue jig from the MTB. Carl's got us hooked up with the good jig and uh, with a crack and crawl trail, it looks like a green pumpkin to me on Weston's Metanium DC and his 7.2 medium heavy. Big sexy LFG favorite rod. Great rod, uh, good sensitivity in the tip. Felt it right off the bat. Uh, right in that same spot where I caught those other two, probably five or six feet from the fountain. Sick. Just flipped it in there real quiet and let it go for a second and feel a tick and reel up the slack and set the hook. So 
He uh, caught it just swimming it just like all the other ones and it's bait number three for me, third fish. I think I've got one bait knocked out, the little crank. The square So boat. we literally have the swim bait left and the jerk bait. Let's get it. A little pond here. All right, well, I'm gonna go back over by the fountain and throw the little jerk bait again on my 7-1 medium heavy. Pretty good rod for this kind of a jerk bait. Got a pretty soft tip. 15 pound fluorocarbon good line for this kind of thing. You can go a little, a little bit lighter line if you want to get a little more depth. But uh, today it's pretty shallow and we've got a lot of grass, so the extra, you know, whatever six inches a foot is not that huge of a deal just to get that extra line. We don't want to break this jerk bait off. We want to try to get this slam done. So the bullet weight I had a black and blue bandito bug on it, and I. I knocked that bait out first cast with that one actually. And then that jig that I was just throwing on Weston's Metanium, I caught that right by the fountain also. And then the little Ned rig with the trick worm on my spinning rod, I had that right by the fountain too. So, you doing any good? Just tying something else on. Swim bait or a swim jig? Oh, chatter bait. I got you. Chatter bait, yeah. First cast with the jerk bait in a little while. A little deep pocket here. We'll try real quick. Charlie's over here crushing it too, man. He linked up with one on the weightless crawl. Hey man, came out here on a fluke and uh, just, you know, it was hitting the crawl. So I switched over, had a little Havoc pit boss and hooked up a little two and a half pounder in the deep over here. And yeah, he got pr possibly the biggest one of the day. And uh, that's, dude, everyone just hit us up on Instagram. And so we just got together and made this thing happen. It's five of us around these ponds. Security's like, that's too many people to kick out, man. I don't even want to fiddle with it. We'll probably stick around for just a little bit longer. We got two more baits to secure a catch on, and that'll be the slam, guys. We'll throw anything and everything after that. Let's do it. All right, guys, so funny story. The uh, fountains over here will steal your treble hooks and your swim baits with it. So luckily for us, I get two MCB boxes per month, and the other one just happened to have that same swim bait. Slightly different color, like a little bit of this off greenish anyways it's it's the same thing but different so well, we're gonna be tying this thing on and throw it right over here see if we can't get a catch on this bad boy see what happens in the next five on this puppy otherwise we might make a move let's see how this thing works i guess you just put your line through the nose of this guy sweet comes out about the middle of the belly through a little bit of a weight to get it diving i don't really know the depth i didn't pay attention typical weston that's different it's an interesting deal i saw one rod one reels video throwing this thing and he caught one throw him right here for a couple minutes and see the like how how she operates. Yeah. Whoa! No, he ate it! Ah! Wish I had the GoPro on for that one. We just got swindled. Our swim bait is no more. A gigantic snapping turtle followed this thing up to the surface. I thought it was getting waked on by a big old bass. And so I kind of like look, look a little closer. Huge turtle, so I immediately start to burn it. He had already like just grabbed it right as I started cranking it really fast. And uh, that's the end of what could have brought the biggest fish quite easily. Rats. What do I do? Just throw the head? Just throw it for a second, see if I get a hit. Wouldn't that be funny? Let's just do it. Dude. Yeah, here's what happened. First cast. Oh, that is so crazy. Got screwed. <laughs> With all those turtles in here, I knew someone was bound to oh, yeah. have I an thought encounter. I, had them hooked. I was like devastated and then Okay guys, we are, uh, I think we're gonna make our first move to another body of water, well there's three here, to another pond down the road. We have been fishing for two hours, we start at nine-ish. Yeah, so it's 11.15, so we've been at it for about two hours. We have at least one more hour to go, we gotta get something on this jerk bait. The swim bait is pretty much done for. Basically this has been the easiest slam for a YouTuber ever. You just go out fishing with a buddy who catches all them for you, and uh, yeah, call it a day. It's been a while since I've linked up with a lot of you guys on Instagram. I was overdue, far overdue. So you all been hitting me up and I just said, screw it, let's get together. Uh, we're gonna be here at this time, this place, and uh, we got the whole gang, man. We're gonna go hit one more city spot you guys know and love. We get kicked out almost every time we fish. Should be a bunch of fun. Uh, they usually hit the crankbaits. Let's get over there. Let's go, let's, let's go. Do it. Let's do it. <laughs> hey guys, no fishing in the water, just let you know. Yes, sir. Can we hit the pond on the backside? Can we go over, uh, that one included? Yeah. Shoot. None of them on any of the property. I figured just the one in front of the business. Uh, okay. Any of them. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Hey, it's our pleasure, man. Well, that was quick. No fishing. Well, go figure. Uh, oh, I guess we're going down the street. We got a couple other spots <laughs> in mind. No biggie. The crank would have hit it. If, if we don't get the slam, we got an excuse, man. This is the jerk bait pond right here. <laughs> Let me find another spot. So I've been doing YouTube for a year, year and a half. Oh, really? And then it's I, been that long? Oh 
yeah, yeah. My yeah. first my first fishing vlog. So you're making good money for now fun. with your YouTube? No, but it's getting, like, it's starting. Like, money is coming in. So basically, since I've monetized, which was last month, on the 10th of the month, so it's been a month and a half. Yeah, month and a half. June 10th is when I got the approval for monetization and my video started like actually making a little money. Yeah, so some of my videos will make like two bucks, three bucks, and then some of them will make like five bucks. Uh, so now more of them are consistently hitting like eight to 12 bucks, I think, per video. Okay. Maybe we tie on a frog over here. Yeah, I'm pumped. All right, so we just rolled up on spot number three. Uh, technically like the fourth or fifth pond, but spot number three, so. I'll probably hit, I'm gonna hit this for a few minutes, crush it with the Senko, then probably do the same. Oh, I definitely got somebody's line. Holy fluorocarbon. Dude, a dope little swim jig. Where's my pliers? It's bad. I'm gonna go right along the grass line. You go ahead, get in there. No, no, dude, get in there. Oh, oh, did you see it? Did you see it? Look, he's right there, he's right there. No, where? Oh my God, we drug him in. Oh my God. Guys, he's right below us. He's right below us. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Get him. He's swimming out now. Oh my God. He just missed it. Just missed the treble hook. This thing never misses too. What the heck? Where's the bass? Dude, that thing should definitely get smacked. Oh, waking on it. I don't know where these guys are at. Y'all want to eat payway? Screw this. I don't know what's going on, dude. What I need is a bandito bug. Maybe some Kung Pao shrimp. Guys, we uh, just got skunked at this second spot. Literally, I think I, I had one hit on the gun trail, Junior, that swim bait. You guys, no. No. not even like a sniff, I guess, man. So anyways, we're closing things out over here at payway. We do want to thank MTB for sponsoring today's video. We caught fish on almost everything out of the box except for the jerk bait and then the swim bait. Turtle got it, first one broke off. We, we, we did have a couple on the hook, just didn't really land them, so it's all gravy, baby. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to Instagram me if you all want to come out and fish. Let's make it happen. Peace. <laughs>